In this video, we are going to demonstrate the anterior slide test for slap lesions of the shoulder. Enroll in our online course now. Link is in the video description. Hi and welcome to PhysioTutors. SLAP stands for superior labral tear, anterior to posterior and mainly occurs in the overhead throwing athlete. Isolated slap injuries are unusual and mostly occur together with other disorders such as rotator cuff tears and instability. As we know that the labrum acts as a passive stabilizer to deepen the glenoid and prevent subluxation of the humeral head, mechanisms of injury are often related to traction, acute traumatic, often overhead events, the peelback mechanism or heavy lifting. A systematic review with meta-analysis from Szymanski et al. suggests that for a diagnosis of slap tears, direct MR arthrography is the preferred method. In 2017, Somerville et al. assessed the diagnostic accuracy of physical examination tests to diagnose slap tears. Among others, the anterior slide test was included based on the surgeon's preference. The test yielded a sensitivity of 20% and specificity of 73.8%, which translates to rather poor likelihood ratios approaching 1, and which is why the clinical value of this test to assess slap lesions is to be regarded as weak. To conduct the test, the patient is either standing or sitting with their hands on their hips so that the thumbs point posteriorly. One hand is placed on top of the patient's shoulder so that the last segment of the index finger extends over the anterior aspect of the acromion at the glenohumeral joint. The other hand is placed behind the patient's elbow and a forward and slightly upward directed force will be applied to the arm. The patient is asked to resist set movement. The test is considered positive if the patient has pain at the anterior aspect of the shoulder under the examiner's hand and or if a popping or clicking sensation is felt in the same area or if the patient's familiar symptoms they have during their overhead activities is reproduced. Slap lesions form one differential diagnosis of rotator cuff related shoulder pain. Philip Strauf has collaborated with us to produce his online course on rotator cuff related shoulder pain, which is an excellent resource for anyone who wants to become a shoulder specialist. Check it out at the link in the video description down below. You can watch another relevant video for you by clicking on the thumbnail to my left. And don't forget to like this video and to subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so yet. As always, thank you very much for watching. This was Andreas for PhysioTutors. I will see you in another video. Bye.